surprise. <laughs> Attack! Tenacity. I got it. I wouldn't come to say hi. I want to get paid a bunch. What a nice electric guy came to ask me to kill you. And you know me. I'm really glad you when I get paid. If you think I'm just gonna let you take me out. I was kinda hoping you'd give yourself up at me. Cause you see, what charity is locked up in here. You can go fuck yourself. I know how you work. You kill her too, whatever happens. I'm hurt, Corey. Really? I'm hurt. I thought we were friends. Starting to get rusty. I'm too old for this business. You've known me for ages. Why'd you accept this job? You know me too. I'm not the kind to do something for sentimental reasons. I was always a bastard. Just ask Charity. I must have had an unhappy childhood. But I'm always practical. And I don't feel like dying just yet. I broke that contract. And even if you decided not to kill me, I would still be in shit. You got yourself in it on your own. It's true. Listen, I think the only way I can get out of this is by working for you. What do you say? You know I'm good. You really think that after what you just did, I'm gonna hire you? Without mentioning how you're a turncoat? Keep dreaming. But you know I won't have a choice anyway. I'll have to stick to you like glue and take part in the fight. Now it's up to you, of course. He's pretty disgusting and doesn't seem very honest, but I like the way he speaks. He says funny things. Listen to the chick. She walks around half naked and it's like there's a meltdown going on between her ears. You already got a nutcase with you. Why not a bastard? All right, but I don't really know why I'm doing this. Maybe because I don't want to become a bastard like you. But I swear, if you betray me, you're a dead man. You're really a great guy, Roy. Gotta say. Let me get my shit together and I'm all yours. Well, you don't pull any punches. That's for sure. And I figured I was a bastard. Maybe I'm not the only one. That a problem? For me, absolutely not. It's just I didn't think you were like that, that's all. Anyway, if you didn't kill people, I'd probably be tempted to do it myself. Not so much for the serum, then again. So we don't leave some son of a bitch behind who can fuck us over in the name of something as stupid as revenge. I wanted to know... You know Shadowlair by heart, right? <laughs> I was born there, but I didn't always live there. Bounty hunters tend to get around a bit. But I've been back for a while. So, yeah, I guess I know the place better than you. It's a big pile of shit with gutless wonders living in it and run by head cases. A charming little spot, my favorite. If you want, just ask me when we're in the neighborhood. I'll tell you what you want to know. Why not? I may find out some stuff from you, and, uh, at least you'll make me laugh. I wanted to know... What do you know about the guy who hired you? <laughs> Another guy with a ridiculous name. Generosity, I think. Yeah, right. He looks as generous as a good kick in the ass. 
And he comes across all lit up, too, like a war windmill. They said he's pretty high up in the source. Probably didn't make the decision on his own, like always with these inbreeds. You can bet the whole guild wants your head. And the bounty was high. Real sad. What do you regret? The bounty? Or the fact that my head's still on my shoulders? The bounty? Nice amount of cash, you know. They must have kept it somewhere for when I showed back up. If we could get our hands on it... I don't see how you expect to stumble across it, unless you want to go straight to the source. No thanks. I saw enough guys with batteries shoved up their ass for a lifetime, I think. What do you think about the Resistance? <sighs> Dreamers completely disconnected from the real world. People who are doing everything to change the world, but don't understand they might just destroy it. Figure they're dangerous in their way. Bunch of freaks who think they know the real truth. Fucking extremists that gotta be real bitter because they weren't born with power. What do you think of Honor Grant? Our national hero? <laughs> Want my opinion? I can't say I really know him, but the idea that if he could have taken over at the top from his buddy, he'd have done it. That guy can pretend he's as straight as an arrow, the paragon of virtue and all that shit. But he's just like everyone else. He just wants power. How'd you become a bounty hunter? It's a long story, but basically I didn't have much choice. I was living in Shadow Lair at the time, had some problems, had to get out. I started working for a guy, a real bastard to be honest. But he respected me and vice versa. One day he got shot and they tried to make me take the fall. I didn't have a choice. I had to go find the guys. That's how I started. Come on, follow me. I need your help. No way, I'm with you. something for you? Come with me. I'd like to have you with me. It would be a pleasure. I prefer it when I'm with you. And I knew that scumbag when I was a kid. He always was a snake. Anyway, thanks. Thanks a lot. I wasn't about to lose my best source of information. Don't be so cynical. You're a good man, Roy. I got nothing on me right now, but drop by my place. I'll give you something. Yeah, all right. I'll drop by. Looks like you're back in the neighborhood. Always a pleasure. Of course. What do you want? You said to drop by. You'd give me something. Yeah, it's true. Knowing that son of a bitch tenacity, I'd still be there. Here, hope you like it. Listen, while we're on the subject, the kid, Innocence, came by while I was... He told the bouncer the Resistance is getting a major strike ready on a train. He'll want you with him. It's a Technomancer convoy, if I understood, right? You should maybe find out some more. It could be dangerous. I don't have anything.
You holding up? Honestly? No. But thanks. something later Why do you worry so much about that child? Is he your apprentice? No, I met him in the camp. He was lost and in real trouble. We escaped together. I guess that made us get closer to each other. I see. Even if I don't really understand why you're doing all this for him. You're taking a lot of risks just for someone you escaped with. Are you sleeping with him? Mary, not every human relationship is about sleeping with people. You can appreciate someone without doing that, especially with a kid. Does that mean no? Fuck yeah, that means no. Hey. Hi, what can I get you? I heard the Resistance is planning to attack a Technomancer convoy. You know if the kid who was with me the other day is with them? You know, I don't actually follow their every move with bated breath. But it seems to me he actually was with them, yeah. They said something about freeing prisoners. The kid must have thought his parents might be in there. But it reeks of a suicide operation. Wasn't supposed to overhear their discussion. But I know where the attack took place. I can take you there. I owe you. All right, I'm with you.
officers looked after prisoner transport. How did the boy get mixed up in all this? Technologies gave power at the end of the war. Now the right question is, what are they? He's trying to understand what happened to his parents, and he's also pretty idealistic. He believes in the resistance. How can you believe in people who don't even have any special powers? He's gotta be really naive. Maybe, but I think it's more that he really believes in their ideas. Hmm. Their ideas are obviously dangerous and make trouble.
shit, Charity. It was a disaster. The kid was arrested. I'm sorry, Roy. He seemed like a real nice kid, really. The attack was stupid, but I already knew it didn't work. You got a lot of good information, apparently. <laughs> Some young person came here to hide just after. Judy. She told me what happened. And there's also someone sniffing around your place. A girl who works for the general. That'd be devotion. She's his right-hand man, armed, from what I understand. My poor Roy. You have to decide. You're going to need allies if you want to help the boy. And scenes I doubt the Resistance can put up with honor and vice versa. You should go talk to the two women. See what they suggest. The lady's right, Roy. We need allies. Especially with all these people after us. The lady's always right, Sugar. Go find the two girls. You'll see what they have to say. Roy, looks like you... Always of course. I don't have anything... Roy! I'm happy to see you. Even if Marco doesn't agree, I know we'll need you. Like you needed innocence. Please, hear me out. You can't imagine how sorry I am about his arrest, but he wanted to take part in the attack. I think maybe we can help him escape when they decide to execute him. With your help, I'm sure we can do it. You know how important our ideas are to him. Marco didn't welcome you right, and he's still suspicious of you, but he's not the only one who makes decisions around here. Let's save him together, and then you can join us. We'll leave for Green Hope as soon as we free him. We hope we can weaken the Technomancers there. That girl looks like she really believes what she's saying. But who is she? That's Judy, one of the leaders of the Resistance. They're the people who are fighting against the politics here, and especially against the omnipotence of the Technomancers. But you're one, and so am I. Do they hate us? Maybe we should say no. Once they've used us, they'll surely kill us. I swear that won't happen. You're not like the ones who rule us. We're crushing the people of Aurora. What do you do, exactly? We fight against the corrupt Aurora government. A government that doesn't hesitate to kill the people it just won the war with. A government that oppresses the people and leaves all the decisions in the hands of the Technomancers. You've seen the poverty, all the checkpoints, how cruel they are. We're fighting to change all that. To restore freedom and pride to the people of Aurora. With your help, we can do it. We'll free innocence and go to Green Hope to ruin those monsters' plans. Let me have a bit more time to think about it. All right, but think fast. I don't think they'll wait long before they execute him. in order to see if you've thought things over. Um, it's not really a good time. One of my friends, uh... We know. So the General has a proposal for you. He can save the young man if you decide to work for him. The Technomancers aren't strong enough yet to counter his decisions. Join us and he'll live. On the other hand, I have to warn you that after saving him, we'll have to leave Shadow Lair for a mission in Green Hope. Hmm. That's an interesting proposal. Can you remind me what it's all about again? What does the General expect from us? The General wants you to join the group he wants to put together to stop the Technomancers from getting more power. In exchange for your help, and in particular for your participation in what he wants to do at Green Hope, he'll have the child freed. It's a big decision. 
I need a little bit more time to think it over. All right, come back and see me when you've made up your mind. Hey, Roy. You need me? I wanted to know... Can you tell me more about this neighborhood? <laughs> you know this place. I don't really know what to say. There's Charity's Bar, and that's where you're sleeping. Uh, this is the poor part of town. Got lots of mutants, but there's worse. Just go to the slums. But I gotta admit, it's got character, and you can lose a tail easier. There's something else. Later. Hero, what can I do for you? Later. Have you decided? Are you going to join the ranks of those who fight in the name of freedom? What do you do exactly? We fight against the corrupt Aurora government. A government that doesn't hesitate to kill the people it just won the war with. A government that oppresses the people and leaves all the decisions in the hands of the Technomancers. You've seen the poverty, all the checkpoints, how cruel they are. We're fighting to change all that. To restore freedom and pride to the people of Aurora. With your help, we can do it. We'll free innocence and go to Green Hope to ruin those monsters' plans. Let me have a bit more... All right, but... Have you decided? Are you going to join the ranks of those who fight in the name of freedom? All right, I'll join you, if you do everything you can to get Innocence out. Thank you, Roy. Here, Innocence left his diary at the HQ. I think he'd prefer you to have it. There must be a way to stop them. We've got to get him out of there. Judy, we tried everything. We even thought about an all-out attack, but look at that. Those bastards have a machine gun. They must know we're here. We can't just stand here. We never thought they'd bring out something like that. The second we get in the yard, we're dead meat. That's exactly what they're expecting. I'm sorry. Oh, lend us an ear, boys, lend us an ear To the whispers of dead who've been wronged Oh, lend us a tear, girls, lend us a tear We're the last to give voice to their song The walls of Aurora, like dreams stretched before us We rise to their glorious beat So pick up your blades and sharpen your courage Until they know defeat I've read this diary that Innocence kept, which Judy's given to me. Everything he went through since he got to camp is in it. 
His story's touching, even if I realize he didn't understand just how much his pity was wasted on the bastards we came across. He talked about the people he met, what we did, he even wrote whole pages on what I did since he started following Marco. I knew the Resistance had good sources, but I didn't think he'd hear about me stopping the serial killer. Nor that Mary and Tenacity were with me now. In fact, I was a bit embarrassed to realize that I was the hero of the book. Maybe that's why I feel kind of obliged to keep it going. Because even if he's dead, a hero, and a martyr, the story is far from over. here. Green Hope. You know, it's not that different from what I've seen in other places. The dusty old hydroponics farm, crumbling under the wind and the war, when you think of everyone who died here for this. What a miserable place. The name hardly reflects its condition. Yeah, it's pretty sad. Lots of people died here, taking it or defending it. It was a real slaughterhouse. But we can't stay here. Marco's waiting for us in the eastern part of the town. We have to move. I, I can't get Innocence's last moments out of my head. I feel so guilty. But I'm sorry. I know you've got more on your mind than my feelings. What can I do for you? I wanted to know... What's Marco's problem with me? Marco lost his family in the Technomancer's jail. Like all of us. Of course, that's not really a good enough reason, but... He can be very hard. He doesn't forgive easily, and basically for him, all Technomancers are executioners. If you want my opinion, it's mostly because he's completely paranoid, and he's scared of losing his place as head of the Resistance, or of being in someone else's shadow. If that's what you think, why ask me? You're not like him. You get along well anyway. It's true we don't always agree on things, but we do have the same vision, Roy. And that vision is far more important than our differences. Were you ever involved? Because I'm a woman and he's a man, you don't think we can share a vision without sleeping together? Get real, we've never slept together. To be honest, he's not my type. But why are you asking? Just curious. Gossip monger, huh? Don't count on me to stoke your flames. How did you become part of the Resistance? I didn't get here by chance, anyway. It was a choice. My choice. When I got back from the war, I saw what was going on here, and I didn't wait a second. I got together with my former war buddies, who were as angry as me, and we made ourselves a little cell. Then Marco got in touch with us, so we could join forces. You know the rest. So you started a cell on your own? That takes guts. Thank you, Roy. But in fact, I couldn't do anything else. I would have gone crazy if I didn't do something. What does the Resistance really stand for? At first, we were just about fighting a government that had betrayed its own by assassinating the militia. But later, other ideas started popping up. There was especially the fact that the people should be able to choose their dowser and representatives, so crimes like that would never happen again. They say that on Earth, that's what it was like in lots of countries. Seems almost crazy, but it's a beautiful idea. With regularly elected representatives, the people would be sure to gain more freedom. And imagine how things would change. No more bosses on one side, proletariat on the other, they would only be responsible citizens. Oh, Roy, together we can unseat the tyranny of the Dowser's dictatorship and create a new society. It won't be easy, but is there anything more worth fighting for? <laughs> you shouldn't get me started. You'll never shut me up now. Let's talk about something else. He wasn't with you long, but 
I'd like you to tell me what he did while he was here. I'd love to. Right at the start, Marco asked him to carry messages. Sounds easy, but it can be dangerous. He did really well. He got fake IDs to groups being hunted by the Technomancers, couriered authorizations, and even resistance tracks. What else did he do? Marco ended up trusting him and recognized his bravery. He asked him to infiltrate the military base. We needed to contact certain soldiers without being seen. And he's how we learned about the train, too. Even if I almost regret it. I really liked him, Roy. He was both fragile and full of strength. He wore his name well, which is not something you see too often. Thanks for telling me all that, Judy. It's good to hear what he did with you and that he was among friends. Where do you come from, Judy? I was born in Valombra. Ever been there? It's a pretty small city. Life's good there. I came to Shadowlair to join up. I stayed here a bit, long enough to learn how to use a weapon, and then I went to the front. Since I got back, I've gotten to know the place better. You like this place? To be perfectly honest, I went into shock when I first got here. The social disparities are way different from back home. But in the end, I understood that Shadow Lair is a fantastic melting pot. I never met a woman like you before. So full of passion. So beautiful. I... I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> but, um, thank you, Roy. I don't know if I'm beautiful or not, but... As for the passion, that part's true. And I think I'm kind of proud of it. But what are you telling me that for? It's what I think, that's all. Um, I felt like saying it. I... Thank you. Really appreciate it. You're not that bad either. But I don't think this is really the place to talk about that kind of thing, is it? You said you were in the war. Yeah. I wanted to enlist. I didn't just want to stay in Valombra with everyone else fighting. So I figured I'd become a soldier too, to defend Aurora. What corps were you in? I was in the Rangers, and I got lucky. Lots of us got taken prisoner real early. But I trained hard, and I was pretty good at it. So I only got back to Shadow Lair after the fighting was over. Pretty much about the time of the Battle of Green Hope. I would have been sent out again, I figure, if Abundance hadn't asked for the ceasefire. And you? I fought on a few different shadow lines as a grunt. Nothing special. But war and all its shit-covered glory. But with skills like yours, you could have been a lot more, couldn't you? And I guess you wanted to keep a low profile. I get that. What do you think of our dowser? To be honest, during the war he was my hero. He was incredible. An amazing strategist. And he gave us hope when we thought we were goners. At the time, he made us so many promises. <laughs> then he went and broke them all. I really thought he was going to give the people more freedom. That's why we fought so hard. All that to take out the militia as soon as we got back from the front. It killed me. Now I hate him. I understand completely. Even if I was in camp when he became the Dowser. I felt the hope he brought, and I saw the despair when I got back. Thank you, Roy. That's it exactly. <sighs> but let's change the subject. This is depressing. Why do you kill people, Roy? Haven't you already beaten them? They attacked us, right? So why would I get all choked up for the guys who would have probably done the same thing to me? If you act like the bastards who attack us, you stand a chance of becoming like them. I think it's... dangerous. I wanted to know... Did you ever go to Green Hope? No. During the war, I wasn't in the sector. Before... well, that was abundance. 
Heard what happened here, of course, but I guess you know as much as me. I wanted to ask you, 